Hey everyone, it's Albie. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be going over my July TBR slash my to be red pile. It's hard to believe that we are halfway through the year of 2024. It's, it, well, did it fly by? It felt really slow in January and February. And now it's like in the blink of an eye, we're almost over, <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with my planned reads. Um, a lot of these are arcs, which surprises me because I am a person that works really diligently to work ahead of my arc schedule, but there's a lot of new releases and a lot of them I've really looked forward to all year. So I have a lot on my list for this month. Um, the first book I'll talk about is, um, it's a historical Hellions pick for July. The live show is on July 27th, my half birthday. So I'm excited for that. Um, it is their reading, or I guess we're all reading um, Where Dreams Begin by Lisa Kleypas. This is the newer cover, which I think is really pretty. Um, I definitely wanted it for my shelf collection, although I don't really have a bookcase. I did move this little thing over here just to make it a little more uh, booktube-ish if I had nothing book related in my background because my bookcase, as you know, literally shattered on me. <laughs> but um, hopefully I'll have a new one by Christmas. If not, then I'm just going to buy one. <laughs> but uh, I digress. So this is, let's see, uh, it's a sexy tale of a brash rogue who meets his equal and a woman who knows exactly what she wants. So I'm very excited for this. This is an older Lisa Kleypas. I believe this was published, let's see, uh, this was published in 2000, so, you know, 24 years ago, almost a quarter of a century. Um, so it's getting up there. Um, but yeah, I love Lisa Kleypas, so I'm very excited for this. We have Lady Holly Taylor, who plays against society rules and we have Zachary Bronson, who has Empire, Wealth, and Power, so very excited. I love Lisa Kleypas, so I have nothing but high expectations. I'm sure this will be something I really, really enjoy, and let's just get another gander that cover because it's just so pretty. I love this one. When they did recovers, um, I wish they did more like this because this is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art, but yeah, where dreams begin. I have a bunch of them. Um, it's about half contemporary, half historical, which is my typical. I love historical, so I'm happy with how this month is panning out. So the second book on my list I'm currently reading, it is Viscount in Love by Eloisa James. This is book one in her new series. I believe it's called The Accidental Brides. Um, I'm only on chapter two, but it has a really cute beginning. I was a little bit confused because I thought the heroine was Clara, but I think it's actually Victoria slash Tori. Um, Cause there was, you know, like when you meet the friends and the friends are just chatting with one another, they're sort of equally balanced as the heroine. So I, I think I'm still finding out who the official heroine is. I don't read the back covers. So, I mean, it makes reading a little more fun for me, a little more surprising, um, but I think it's gonna be Tori now. <laughs> But what I've read, I've really enjoyed. There's been a, uh, the Viscount is overheard what the girls were whispering about. So, you know, intrigue is already happening with that. So Viscount in Love by Eloisa James. It is a, it's set in 1800, which I guess is Regency. I looked up time periods and Regency is really only about nine years, like 1811 to 1820. But most people kind of broaden it to like uh, 1790 to uh, basically Queen Victoria, which I think was 1837. So um, some people would say it's a Georgian historical romance. A lot of people just call it Regency. Um, so either way, it's in that sort of Jane Austen-y sphere of the world. I have gone ahead and looked up like dresses and stuff for 1800 to see if silhouettes and stuff are a little bit different just for fun. I know uh, Eloisa James is a, she's sort of a stickler for accuracy with her, uh, like the clothes and stuff. I think I saw on, um, it's called like Love Between the Covers. There's a documentary. I think she did like a, symposium or something where she had like the different clothes and was showing it so um, I'm excited for that I love to sort of do some dramaturgy or research along with my books so I'm having fun with it but if I kind of love I'm only on like chapter two but so far it's really cute I'm really enjoying it and the pacing is really nice so I look forward to finishing it soon and having my review for you hopefully next week all right another arc uh, that I have is the Au Pair Affair by Tessa Bailey this is I think book two in the series not fully sure what this series is called, but the first one is Fangirl Down, which is one of my favorite reads of 2024. It is a spicy golf romance, and uh, this one, The Au Pair Affair, is a spicy hockey romance, so if you're on the hockey train, I think this is one you'll definitely enjoy. I believe it's uh, either a divorced hero or uh, a hero that's a widower. 
so that should be really interesting and I believe she is the au pair or the nanny for him so it's a little bit of an age gap uh, it's supposed to be really spicy from what I've read or what I've seen from friends posting and with Tessa Bailey she's just one of my auto buys she's one of my favorites so I'm really looking forward to it all these books I mean everyone I think if it's on a TBR and you're making a video about it you're looking forward to all of them but this month in particular are books that literally I've waited all year to read like Viscount and Love and the au pair affair so I'm very just really excited. Um, I have another contemporary. It is Not in Love by Allie Hazelwood. It's another seminist uh, romance. It's, you know, women in STEM. So this one, I believe, is like rivals to lovers slash enemies to lovers in a workspace uh, romantic dramedy sort of thing. Uh, it looks really cute. I did purchase a special edition. You can see that in some previous videos. Um, I think I'm going to get the ebook just because my hand is really hard to hold um, books lately but really looking forward to you not in love uh i haven't the only ali hazel i've actually read are the love hypothesis and um two of her little novellas one was below zero i honestly can't remember the name of the other one but i read them this year <laughs> but um they were both really cute um i did actually declutter uh love on the brain for some reason i just heard a lot of people didn't love it and from what, I, from what i've seen with people that are in her inner circle with miss in in miss hazelwood's inner circle and publishing and all that it seemed like love hypothesis was uh, really great and like she kind of got put in a bubble with her previous releases and now that she's secured herself a place on bestsellers list and she's going to sell books she can have a little more freedom with her writing and uh, her writing style I don't want to be putting uh, words in other people's mouths or whatever but from what I've read this book or it kind of started with bride where she has a little more freedom in her expressions and writing so it's supposed to be uh, a little more uh, fun a little more unhinged I think in a good way so I'm excited for not in love it looks really fun um, I then have two more books I have six books on this list usually I try to do it to five but it's just already a busy month so <laughs> hopefully I get to all of them the next is another historical romance this is Beauty in the Boxer by Matilda Madison this is book two I believe it's the Reluctant Countess series or book one was called The Reluctant Countess. I'm not really sure. I will put all the information in the video. But this is a class difference and struggle romance. We have our heroine and um, falling for a boxer hero. Y'all know I love um, historical romances. I love uh, class difference tropes. I think they're really interesting. I love seeing characters that are from quote unquote different worlds coming together in a romantic union so to speak so I'm looking forward to it and the the vibes from what I got from like the blurbs and stuff were sort of like mine till midnight with the class difference thing so I'm really looking forward to it as well and then the last book on my July to yard is another arc I'm really busy this month and it is an MM sports romance this is teasing the winner by Laura John this is book three in I believe in the GSU series I've read them all um so far all the books have been MM sometimes Ms. John writes um other couples so like I, remember, I cannot remember stuff in life. I mean, I'm so sorry. But like summer, hot summer nights, or what the ones I read last year by Laura John, um, those couples, like some of them were MF, some of them were MM. And there was plans for an FF, but it got, I don't think it got picked up. So I'm sad about that because it was really, it was getting set up for in the book series with a, a sister of a, one of the heroes. So I was hoping for that one, but I don't think it's coming. But oh well. But this one is Teasing the Winner MM College Sports Romance. They're all really lovely they are on the the high spice scale i wouldn't call them in that section but they're definitely high on the spice um the one previously was really good it was an age gap sort of like uh, i don't think he was a i think he was a professor so it was like the, he wasn't teaching the the other hero but it was sort of you know in that taboo sphere so that one was really fun so i'm really looking forward to teasing the winner by laura john um she's lovely if you love um mm romances and i also enjoy her uh mf romances as well so she writes uh they're like spicy but with like a small time small town charm these uh this series the sports series the gsu hasn't been as small time charming <laughs> as the other ones but the summer nights series i'll have a picture of it those are like Hallmark After Dark sort of vibes, and I really enjoyed that series a lot. So um, I'm looking forward to this one as well. So yeah, these are all my picks for July. Um, I'm actually going to do a July Will I Buy It Purchase or Pass video next because July is like the the releases are slapping hard. <laughs> so I have a lot that I'm really interested in to purchase in July. So look for that video on Thursday. I think. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye, everyone.